Congress. <laughs> I'm President Barack Obama, and welcome to Obama by yaymath.org. Are you enjoying your, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Give it up for Matt. Eight years in the Oval Office, I feel like it's come time to rest, and the last thing we're going to do here is a little mathematics. Hey, where are you going? Joe, where are you going? <laughs> oh, welcome back. Whiskey. You don't want to. <laughs> I didn't know that was your voice. There you go. <laughs> well, apparently. Uh, okay, today we're going to continue our trig functions lessons with two word problems. Uh, show of hands, who enjoys word problems? Yeah. <laughs> One. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, the goal with word problems, as the voice diminishes into authenticity, is to understand what it's asking, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a flagpole problem, okay? So imagine you have a flagpole, okay? There it is. Clearly, it's the American flag. La, 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 la. There you go. Got your stars. Okay. And here I am. Here I am. Yes, I am skinny, but I'm tough. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, so imagine the situation was the angle of elevation, that's the key phrase, the angle elevation from my line of sight to the top of the flag is 65 degrees. Okay, so that means angle of elevation from my line of sight, 65. Does that make sense? See how the 65 degrees is the angle that's in line with my line of sight. Basically, it's next to the horizontal. Here's a horizontal line, and it's 65 degrees above that. Okay. I'm also, um, let's say, 10 feet from the pole. Ten feet from the pole. Okay. What would the problem ask? What would the problem ask? What's the hypotenuse? Okay, so what would that be in a real world problem? How far is it from? from how far is the top of the pole from what is your, your perspective? perspective? Yes, how far is the top of the pole from my perspective? That's a great question. Very good. What else could the problem ask? What is the height of the pole? What is the height of the pole? See, what I'm doing very intentionally is I'm not giving the question because if you could come up with the question, then you could actually really own the problem. Yes. How much of the pole? What? How much of the pole do you see? Like what height? Sure, you could do the height of the pole, but yeah, we have to keep in mind that we have to factor in my height as well. So we could get this x as the height of the pole from my line of sight, but let's also factor in missing piece is my height. Let's call it six. Okay, six feet here and six feet here. Right. So now we can solve for x, which is the height of the pole from the line of sight to the top. Okay? So again, angle of elevation from my line of sight, 65 degrees. I'm 10 feet away from the pole. How tall is the pole? Uh, which trig function? Let's put them down again. Na -na. Whoa, stay with it, board. Stay with it. This is America. American dream. Yes, sir. Yeah. Tan? Tangent, yes. Yes, tangent of what angle? Uh, 65. Tangent of the angle 65 equals what over what? Equals x over 10. Indeed, it's true. Okay. So, let's go ahead and add, or multiply. Multiply both sides by? 10. 10. Okay, cross. X equals 10 times the tangent of 65. Hook it up. 21.44. 21.44. I'm into it. Great. So X equals. What? 21. No. Did you not get that? I got negative 14.7. Oh, oh, you're. Ten, ten, ten. Yeah, ten, you're right, ten, ten, ten times. Yeah. Negative. What? Oh, uh, you may be in radian, radian mode. Let's see. Right yes, you're in radian mode, sir. That's it's a common mistake. So put your, I put it in when you click mode there. All right. 
you go into degrees. I'll, I'll show you next time too. So now try it. 10, 10, 65, 21 point? 44. 44, very nice. So keeping in mind the 21.44 feet. feet is right there, but that's not the entire height of the flagpole. That's 27. 27.44 is the entire height, which are these two together. So total height 27.44 feet. Questions? Okay. Angle of elevation. Tell me, is the angle of elevation next to the horizontal line? The angle itself, is the angle touching a horizontal line? 65. Uh, yeah. It is. 65 touching uh, a horizontal yeah. line, okay? Keep that in mind, that's really important. Let's put this to the test. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> man, that's good. <laughs> See, Amer uh, yeah. American savviness. It's almost better than like, uh, yeah, yeah, no, but using tissues got from a pizza place. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we get things done in this country. They say Greece is the best eraser. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> okay, next problem. Last problem. So we have a plane. Draw your best airplane. Here we go. This is Air Force One. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> kind of looks like a shark. Like yeah, angle of Presley, depression. You should be an artist. Rock. Maybe that'll be his next career. Some people don't know that this my uh, true dream is to be an artist, an architect, a salesman, a delivery man, realtor, math teacher, <laughs> one of those. Synthetic, synthetic grass color. <laughs> yeah, synthetic grass color. Fire hydrant. <laughs> Fire hydrant, yeah. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot easier than before. Um, so now this problem is you have an airplane that's flying, it's approaching the runway. Here's the runway. Okay. Angle of depression, we'll say, is 10 degrees. Okay. So do you agree that we need to form an angle from the plane to the runway? Okay. That's 10 degrees. Now the question is, do you think, best guess, does the 10 degrees go here or the 10 degrees go here? And I'll give you a hint. Angle of, de angle of depression is just like angle of elevation in which I asked you if the angle was in line with the horizontal. Oh, so the other one, the other so problem it's I did the was depression. Horse. The other one I did was angle of elevation looking at the pole. Angle of elevation, so this one's depression. Does it, yeah, it, gives them the, it does go with the horizontal. It does, just like before. So that's something important to keep in mind. Anytime you see angle of elevation or depression, it's always in line with the horizontal. In line with the horizontal. Does that make sense to you guys? That whenever you're putting an angle for angle of elevation or depression, that angle goes along the horizontal line. In, rather than going along rather the, than going the vertical line which is this do you also agree that we need to form a right triangle to solve this problem most likely okay mm -hmm. so if we're going to consider this is what would you call this the what of the plane uh, it does start with a when they say it uh, ladies and gentlemen the blank our current blank is what uh, oh, oh uh, altitude altitude oh. right so that's the height of the plane that's the altitude <laughs> this would be called ground distance okay like the distance from the ground to the runway. Mm -hmm. And then let's say the problem gave us some more. Let's say the plane is three miles from the runway. All right. The plane's three miles from the runway and uh, the angle of depression is 10 degrees. What could be some possible questions? How fast will the airplane reach the destination? So how fast is a really good point, okay? Right now we haven't discussed speed of the plane. We're only discussing distances. Does that make sense? So can you give me a distance question? What? How, far what, how, what's how long distance? will it take? That's a time question. That was really cool. You could, if you had the speed and the distance, uh, How far will it take travel before it? Far. Yeah, we want to do a distance question. And we have two distances that are lacking. Far is it the, how far is the airplane from the ground? <laughs> sure. So we can do the altitude. Why don't we do that? 
why don't we just make this question, what is the altitude of the plane? How high is the plane? How tall is the plane? Air Force One, okay? Why is it Air Force One? That's my plane. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what gets me around in style. Well, not for long, but you know, you know how it goes. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you can go for a ride with me. We'll go to wherever you guys go. To <laughs> home. <laughs> home, yeah, I'll take you home. And go to Coachella. <laughs> taking, no. uh, taking some music. No, I'm hip and I'm hop. <laughs> Watch a uh, Tupac hologram. <laughs> oh, before your time. <laughs> Not really. No. Not really, yeah. Okay, so if this is 10 degrees, by what's called alternate interior angles, there's another angle in here that's 10 degrees. Tell me where to stop. Oh. Is it this one? No. no. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? Yes. 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 Yes, we can. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, so that's 10 degrees. He said no. That's three. That's X. Solve for X using Sokatoa. Soka, I told you. Go ahead. So can Toa. So cow Toa. Sunshine. <laughs> Hook it up. What do you got? Well, are you actually doing the work? Can you tell me the equation, please? Tan 10 equals. Okay, tangent. 3 over x. Right? Tangent equals opposite over adjacent, right? Oh, 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 x over 3. X over. No, that's x. a lie. I that's lie. a lie. I lied. Yeah. <laughs> I hate when people tell me that in Congress. You lie. It's <laughs> Maybe go like this. It's it's cos cos sine. Yeah. I yeah. lied. It's sine. <laughs> How many times we're we gonna lie under oath? I'm not dragging my side. All right, sine <laughs> of what angle? Ten. Ten degrees <laughs> equals opposite over hypotenuse. Hook it up. Uh, X over three. Yeah. X over three. X is opposite. Um, do, you, yeah. do, you, do, you, do you see it now? X yeah. over three. All right, multiply both sides by three, gone. Okay, what is the altitude of Air Force One? Altitude of Air Force One is point five. Yeah, I got point five. Point five, half a mile. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense, right? A plane could be half a mile in the sky. Questions? Answers. <laughs> Ponderances. <laughs> Reflections. Um, Deep thoughts. Mr. President. Yes, sir. Uh, I believe that my calculator is the same thing as dragging. Okay, hit the mode key, sir. Mode key. And then scroll down to degrees. What? Instead of radians. Degrees. And hit enter. Degrees. Ra uh, dragon, you see degrees? Dragon. Oh. And hit enter, and then uh, clear out of there. Second quit would be a good way to do it. Second. Point five miles. Let's try that again. I got you. I think you got it, Blueberry Skillet. I got it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, that's it. Four five. What are you laughing at, Raisins? Mm -hmm. Further questions? Okay, give yourselves a hand. It's good. You're covering a lot of ground. Yes, sir. Land number three. Home of the brave. Bye. <laughs> that is how we're going to change that. the world. <laughs> Bye. <Yeah. laughs> that is how it's done. Obama out. <laughs> oh my God. Hello, I'm President Barack Obama. In any approaching election season, it is of the utmost importance to vote. Your vote directly shapes the future of our nation. Simply Google how to register to vote for details in your area. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message.